Good example and a very warm welcome to this program. I'm Samton Dolker. For this program today we have this wonderful writer Karma Dolker with us and uh, she currently she studies in Santa Barbara in the United States. She published her first book last year. Welcome Karma and congratulations on your first book. Thank you. Um, Karma, you um, wrote this book last year. You published this book last year. In October, yes. yes. And we would like to hear what this book is about. Uh, my book, Gawamalam, my aspiration, it, talks, it tells a fictional love story between the two main characters. My two main characters, Gawamalam, the heroine, and the hero is Likang Pelger. It follows a love story between them and how they develop their relationship. Now, why do you think should a reader choose your book? And what do you want your readers to take from your book? Well, the concept of my book, focuses on love and faith and I believe in love and I also believe in faith so I think it's exceptional like for me to write this book because I relate myself to falling in love and I believe in faith mm -hmm. so that's how I come to write this book okay now before going on to the next question we would like you to read a few abstracts from your book which is one of your favorites well I'll turn to page 61 and okay. I have one favorite line that I love so it's in the fourth paragraph, it's, it's told by the main hero, so he thinks, the more you try to distance yourself from me, the more strings I'm going to pull to keep you near me. And I, I believe in this because I believe in fate. Mm -hmm. So no matter what, fate will put, like, pull you, pull mm -hmm. your string, and then if you want to meet a person, ultimately you have to meet with that person because it's the fate that pulls you together. Mm, that's wonderful. Yeah. Now your first book is it's a fictional love story. It's all about romance, love. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what is the beauty of writing a fiction story? From my perspective, writing a fiction, like it gives you more space to explore and express your emotions. Mm -hmm. It's more relatable to you and also it gives you freedom for your imagination and creativity and to create your own character and then emotions. Okay. Uh, and uh, Karma, because every writer you know, has a very special reason of writing some book, mm -hmm. do, you, I mean, do you have any reason, I mean, do this book relate to you in any way? Yes, this book is very relatable to me. Mm -hmm. Like I said before, I believe in love and I believe in faith. So this book is all about love, falling in love, and. In, and believing in fate. Is it between you and your husband maybe? <laughs> no, 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 not actually. Like You know how like we as a woman, we, we think like falling in love is the most important thing in our life. So I just wrote it out of my own imagination, like how it would have been like, you know, your love story if, if I haven't met my husband. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> so what's your motivation? Like, I don't have a specific motivation. I, I just love to read books so I don't have any specific motivation. Okay. So personally what inspired you to become a writer? And our audience would like to know, you know, when did you start writing? How did it start? My older sister is my inspiration. She used mm -hmm. to read a lot of books. So she would always encourage us to read books. Mm -hmm. And she would she would give us books which which are very which has good values and then which can like increase your imagination and creativity. Mm -hmm. I believe in imagination and creativity. That creates a fantasy world. Sometimes you, the world is so stressed out, you have your tense, your stress, you need to live in a fantasy world once in a while. So I believe like you, sh you, you should write a book that has imagination, that the book that has a colorful world. Wonderful. Mm. Now, um, I'm a person who has, you know, who, who read book when I was a child. Um, I still read it. Mm -hmm. And I follow J.K. Rowling, for example. Mm -hmm. um, and then I have, you know, I've been following her, you know, her hardship. Mm -hmm. She has been rejected a lot of times. She has been yes. turned down a, lo a lot of times. Yes, yes. And then it was only later that she gained popularity. Mm -hmm. She was recognized. So likewise, do you think there's, you know, there's, uh, a challenge for, do you think it's a challenge for a Bhutanese writer like you to um, to be able to make your reader 
you know, to be able to make people read your books. Likewise, you know, it's an era where people are in their smartphones, they are in social media. So what do you think about it? Like in my opinion, like I, I, I like to read books that are relatable to me and where I can put myself in the book's character. Like, like you said, J.K. Rowling has to go through many hardships. So for all the writers, I think they, there are some challenges when they write a book. For example, we as a Bhutanese writer, funding is a challenge. Market is a challenge. There's less demand for Bhutanese readers, Bhutanese writers, less Bhutanese readers. Most of the children nowadays goes for international writers. So as a Bhutanese writer, I think there are challenges like you. The marketing is very less. So, uh, like me, do you have any Bhutanese or international writer which is your favorite? Uh, I don't have any favorite right now, but I, I read a lot of books. And whichever book is, like I said, relatable to me, I read those books. Okay. okay. And uh, will you be writing more? Yes. my the, I, I wrote another book. The title of the book is Chera E, You Are the One. It should be in the market in a couple of months. Karma, what do you think makes a truly remarkable writer? A writer has to be someone who can grab the attention of a reader, who can give, like in her book, who can inculcate values to the readers. And also, in my perspective, most of the writers should focus on the youth because they're an important part of the society. And I think nowadays, with the advancement of technology, most of the children are with smartphones, computers, and they, less, they pay less attention to reading. So I think the children should like focus on reading. So um, like you said, there is a certain audience to to whatever a person produced, mm. be it a book, be it a film. Yeah. So uh, do you have a certain audience that you want to reach this book to? More, most of my focus is on the youth because they're, like I said, they're an important part of the society. And also I believe in love, right? Mm -hmm. I, said, yeah. I said before, so I want children to love unconditionally and then respect any form of relationship. So, Karma, there is a certain mindset that, you know, uh, for example, especially, I mean, I can give you my own example. Mm -hmm. I usually tend to read more books from, you know, international author and ignore, you know, Bhutanese writers. Yeah. So, do you have anything to say on it? When you talk about international writers, I think they're already in the market and they're more popular. And most of the children are more used to reading their books. So, now, b more Bhutanese writers and lo local writers are coming up. I would encourage the kids to read, read local books so that it would encourage the readers as well as the writers. It's beneficial to both the writers and the readers in terms of values, tradition, everything. Karma, uh, at the very end of this book, mm -hmm. there's this two-word statement mm -hmm. or line saying mm -hmm. love happens. Yes. Do you want to elaborate more, more on it? This book is solely on love and the love story between my two main characters. So I believe everywhere you go, love follows. You, you follow love no matter what. You fall in love no matter what. And lastly, uh, what will be your advice to the aspiring Bhutanese writers? I'll tell them to keep writing. I'll tell them to pen down all, your th all their thoughts. It's not important that they need to publish it, but they can write it down and then create a beautiful memories for themselves. And I would, lastly, I would also like to thank my friends who helped me to publish this book, especially Kun Zang Pem. She has gone through a lot to make this book alive. And I'd like to thank my friend Sing Yom, Tsung Zang Mo, and Kel Zang, and also my family, my husband, and my two children. So thank you so much, Karma, for mm -hmm. your time and, and sharing us your insights with us. Mm -hmm. And um, we would like you to write more books in future and we would also like to wish you give you the best wishes for your next book chera e thank you so much with that we come to an end to this program thank you for watching us and goodbye <laughs>